Okay, John, our figs, prosciutto, gorgonzola, and mascarpone are ready to go. Let's move on to our next course. Well, we're going to have a quail, um, just marinated for a, a, as long as you like or as short as you like, really, Scott, it doesn't really matter, in pretty much whatever you've got hanging around. And then we're going to char grill them. Lovely. Now, I've butterflied these quail, which basically means removing the backbone and then just pressing down on the breastbone and just flattening the quail. Quail is a gamey meat, a, a bird, for those people who have not had quail before, perhaps eaten a lot of chicken. It's a stronger flavoured meat, it's a dark meat. Absolutely. Uh, very much a red wine uh, liking. Red, red wine written all over it. It, it. it does indeed, Scott. Now on to course number two of our three course Italian inspired meal. But I do hope you try those figs, they were absolutely delicious. The second course, the main course, is quail. They've been marinating for a couple of hours now and we're going to char grill them at a moment. But just going over the ingredients, we've butterflied the quail, taken out the backbone and they've been sitting in a mixture of olive oil, lemon peel and lemon juice, so the juice and peel of one lemon, some salt and pepper, and some oregano. But you don't have to stop there. You can use parsley, you can use garlic, you can use even chilies if you like. It doesn't really matter, just to give the, the quail a slightly, or added, depth of flavour. So, let's go out to the char grill and cook the quail. Well, here we are, outside. About to put the quail onto the onto the Weber queue. You might remember when we were doing pizza when Scott was cooking those wonderful pizza in uh, the last episode. We used the old uh, charcoal version. Well, we're moving on to the the new series of Weber, the Weber queue, which I find to be an absolutely amazing piece of kit. I'll never desert my wonderful old charcoal Weber, but for convenience and for quick grilling, this is really a wonderful machine. And I have to say, the steaks that it does are brilliant. Okay, so we're going to put the quail on skin side now. Getting a nice hiss already, aren't we? Don't, don't worry if a little bit of lemon peel or bits of the marinade go on. No problem whatsoever. Alright, so that's charring. I'll just move this over here. And we'll have a look at it again in a moment or two. Might just rotate the quail. We're getting some grill marks there, might just turn them out a little bit. Tough to do that, but uh, it just gives it a little bit of a cross hatched effect. These Weber cues are very, very hot. Give them a turn. Nice and brown on one side, not burnt, just nice golden brown. I think it's time to take them off. I'll have a look anyway. Oh yes, they're done. Lost the leg there.
Time to plate up our char grilled marinated quail. We're serving one per person, but you know, you could have two if you've got people with, with large appetites, but it makes a nice meal. One's, one's, one's absolutely fine. Now I'm just going to serve a little bit of uh, lemon on the side, which you can squeeze over. Remember there's lemon juice in the marinade, so it will, it will enhance the flavour, it'll, it'll go nicely. And I'm going to serve the, the quail with just a very simple green salad, tomato and lettuce salad. Lettuce from the garden, I have to say, but um, that's very simple, it goes nicely, cuts through the flavours, and I think if you give this a go, you'll thoroughly enjoy the char grilled marinated quail. We'll let you know what we thought, but Scott and I are going to eat it now. Ready? Yes. Uh, with the prosciutto and the gorgonzola and mascarpone. Now moving on to our second course, which is the quail. Okay, well the quail have... Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> fly. fly. Bloody fly. Sorry about that, it was a fly. This, uh, we'll, just, we'll just tend to the fly. I think it's over there. Okay. We believe the fly has been attended to. <laughs> if it comes back into shot, we'll know. Okay, John. Figs and prosciutto, gorgonzola and mascarpone are ready to go. Now let's move on to... Did you see it? <laughs> right to left. It was a right to left fly past of a fly. Fly past. I like that. You like that? Like Thank that. you very much. Okay. <laughs> I'm here all week. Now, 